Hi everyone, we're back and today I'm just going to show you what we got from our little Coles haul today. Um, first off, I just want to start this video by saying that we're very grateful for the things that um, we're able to get for our families and feed our families. So yeah, just want to get that out of the way. So yeah, and the second thing is that however much you think is an appropriate amount to spend for meat and vegetables for your own family, it's your decision. Um, everyone has little different opinions on that it seems so that's cool you do you but anyway I'm just going to get into it and show you what I got today this um two bags of shopping and a few drink items that we got today was $124 total um so yeah we'll just go through it and show you what we got we got three of these quick cook scotch fillet steaks I haven't actually tried these before however um they were only $4.80 as you can see there so I went ahead and got three of those. So for three of them, it was $14.20, I think it is. So, yeah, I think usually they're two for $15. So, um, yeah, I just went ahead and got got that for tonight. I'm just going to slice it up and marinate it and do some rice and green veg just because um, we probably need a little boost in our iron today. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. And, yeah, so that's going to be gone straight away. But anyway, just a treat cheap quick way to get a bit of iron so yeah over here we have the 12 pack of Coles yogurt um so I went ahead and just got one of those they're pretty handy to have in the back of the fridge there they usually have a pretty good date on there so they will last a little while in the fridge I'm pretty sure they've gone up since the inflation's hit I think they used to be $4.20 and they were $4.80 today but I went ahead and got them anyway and then over here, these are actually $3 at Woolworths this week, but we haven't made it down there and I really wanted to try it. So I went ahead and got a full pack of this. This is $3.75. It looks pretty good. It's a banoffee flavor. So yeah, I'm going to give that a try. I haven't actually looked at the sugar. Probably should have. Eh, 15. Some of them have 28, 32. So I guess that'll be our dessert yogurt just to give it a try and see if it's um, as good as it looks on the picture there. And then here we have some shaved turkey. I got that for $3.80 off. Um, that's got until the 5th of July there, so I'm not too sure why it was reduced, but it smelled okay and it looks okay. So I grabbed it and we're just going to use that with some lettuce mayo sandwiches and things for lunch. So they'll get used up in plenty of time as soon as it's open, which will probably be tomorrow for our lunches. We'll crack that open. Um, I will make a note of it to try to get rid of it as quick as we can just in case. Because, yeah, even though it's reduced and there is a date on it, still, just to be sure, you know, give it a little sniff test to make sure she's good to eat. Um, we also got a pack of Primo Thin Franks. That's a kilo there, and they were $6 this week. So I don't usually get the hot dogs, but as you can see, we've already hacked into them because it's our late afternoon here, and that's what we had for an afternoon snack. So I just grabbed those while I was at the shop to do a quick afternoon school snack for the boy. And then over here, we got these Memphis barbecue chicken burgers. They were three sixty off. Um, I have seen these previously before, and my son loves barbecue nearly anything. However, as you see, it says spicy on there, so I'm not too sure how spice is spice. But considering that they were reduced, I figured I'd get them anyway, and we'll give them a try. And if they're too spicy for him, well, I'll probably suck it up and, you know, I'll just handle the heat anyway. Over here, we've got a pack of Primo bacon for a kilo. The other week, you may have seen in a video, we had the Woolworths budget bacon. That was ten twenty-five for the kilo. However, the quality of that really isn't... Well, I mean, it's okay if you're going to be cooking soups or stews or some scrambled eggs where it doesn't really matter or even pizza and you're chopping it up. However, if you want to be frying it up and have a nice bacon egg breakfast, I wouldn't recommend it. So, yeah, we've gone ahead and got one of these Primos today. This was $10 today. So, yeah, pretty handy. And, yeah, sometimes I will go ahead and freeze, you know, sandwich bags and put enough in there for a few meals. But... We'll see how we go. It will last in the fridge for a while until I decide to go ahead and open her up. And then over here, we have two 12-pack of eggs. That was the limit, so I went ahead and got those. I do prefer getting out um, eggs from Costco. They usually do an 18-pack for $12 of the organics. They're pretty delicious. You really can tell a difference. However, again, I'm not judging anybody. You do what you have to do for your family. Um, so today we just went ahead and got these as we don't have many and yeah, so we just grabbed that. 
And then the milk, we've just got two two litres. One of those is already half gone. As I said, it's a late afternoon. So got some of those we will top up on the milk. I'm still trying to work out how some of these YouTube mums calculate how much milk they need to go through for their whole family. I really need to learn that. We just kind of go get more when we need more, which is probably not good. But anyway, now over here we have the kale and baby spinach. Um, I usually always get one of these bags. However, today I was a little stumped and considering I had to keep it moving, I just grabbed one anyway. Although I'm pretty sure they've reduced the size of these bags and I'm pretty sure the price has gone up. So I think they've, I think we've been stabbed twice there, <laughs> smaller size and more expensive. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to double check that. They used to be $4.50 and today I think they were $5.00. And the other ones were 580 so all of these assortment of bags have gone up. However, again, you know, you get what veg for your family. I still feel that the kale and the baby spinach is essential for me. Um, we never not use it. It's I use it in nearly everything, and it's such a healthy thing for you. And to be honest, I just think it's convenient to have it in this bag. And so far for me, the quality from Coles is better than Woolworths when it comes to the kale and spinach, so that's why I keep getting it from Coles. I've had a couple of dud bags from Woolies, but, you know, each to their own. And then over here, the other week we got a four-litre barbecue um, sauce bottle, um, and that was $4, so it worked out to be $0.50 cents per, because you'll get eight of these in one of those bottles. So, yeah, such a good deal. We did get one of those. However, every now and then you do need to get one of these just to top it up and make sure that the bottle is keeping clean. So just grab one of those so we have, you know, a more handy, convenient way to use our sauce. And then we got a couple of bananas. A couple of those have been pinched already. Um, so, yeah, they're $3.50 at the moment. There was a veg shop around the corner and they're also $3.49, so I didn't bother going to get the difference. However, yeah, they do look pretty big. And, um, yeah, so I learned from one fantastic YouTube mum lady that can't quite remember that if you don't get the bananas with a little slit of the black in there, they last longer. And ever since I saw that, I've been doing that. And A on top, it actually works. So, yeah, when you get your bananas, you want to make sure there's no little black line in there because they'll be pretty rotten pretty quick. So, yeah, very helpful tip that I learnt from the internet there. Then there's our hot dog buns. And over here we have a Milo, can't go without the Milo, we actually ran out two days ago, shock horror, don't know how that's even possible, but yeah, that was $11.50, so I went ahead and got one of those, sometimes they'll drop down, drop down for sale for $10 each, I could be wrong on that, but yeah, grab one of those, and then behind the Milo we have six lactose free milks, I just went ahead and got those so we don't run out, um, as the winter and the rain's really hitting where we are at the moment, and, you know, you have a little toddler, you don't want to go out and be exposing them to get sick as much as you can, really. So it's handy to have some milks backed up. And we've got a bag of grapes there. That was $10. So, again, you know, every family will get their own fruit and spend what they want to. However, where I am at the moment, fruit is pretty pricey on all, all ends, really. Strawberries are 5 50 to $6 for a pack. And, you know, I think it's sometimes smart to work out to get value for your money so quite often we'll get a rock melon if we see one of those in their good quality because you get a fair amount of fruit for what you're paying um so things like that it pays to you know take note of and then over here we have two coals 500 gram tins of coffee that was two for seven dollars so i've got a kilo of coffee there now i know that that is home brand i'm not sure how many of you have actually given it a try and tried it however at the beginning of the year we had went through a bit of a shortage and it was getting a bit tricky to find coffee and then all of a sudden Coles had this on the shelves and it was all we could get so we tried it and to be honest I do a mix a blend <laughs> my own homebrew blend of coffee and I do about two-thirds of this to one-third of um, a better coffee at the moment it is Makona but whatever other coffee might be on sale at the time I'll probably grab one of those and then I'll, I'll cut it and I'll mix it and these two did last me well, a good five, six months now because I've only just run out the other week. Um, so, yeah, so at the moment I have a half-half blend of this in Makona and it does taste pretty good actually. So unless you're quite fussy and you need a certain brand of coffee because um, I love coffee, I'm not really too fussy with it as long as it's strong and strong, <laughs> um, it's going to work. So, yeah, I also should mention that I don't put sugar in my coffee. I mix mine with syrup. So... 
you know, little maple syrup in probably dirt coffee is probably going to taste good anyway. So, yeah. And then we have a multi vitamin juice there just to top it up and for breakfast during the week. And then over here, I haven't actually tried this. It's a Coles malted milk drink. I think it's the same as um, Horlicks, I think it is. So they didn't actually have that one on the shelf, but they did have this one. It was $7. And I thought considering it was winter, it would be nice to make our ho homemade mock Gloria Jeans baby chinos, maybe with some strawberry Hershey's milk or, you know, maybe use this in conjunction with a bit of hot chocolate. I'm not really too sure. Some more milk. A little treat or there that'd be nice to warm up the boys and that's all that i have so tomorrow when i venture out to woolies i usually have better luck with them with the reduced stickers and whatnot so i don't really have a massive menu plan on how i'm working for my children at the moment considering meat is so crazy i'm kind of just going to the shop well i do check out the sales at each place so i do know what's on sale at Coles or Woolworths and I do have a plan and a shopping list of what I'm aiming and hoping to get from each store however it is um, good to be flexible and keep an open mind when you go to the shop because you can't guarantee that it's going to be there or if the sale is even going to be honoured at that certain store because where I am there is four Coles that I could go to and each one of those prices will be different on the same day sometimes so you know it also does depend on that so Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my tiny little haul and I will be back with my Woolworths main shop. This is just what we got. So this was all $124, I think it was. So I know it doesn't look like a lot. However, you got to keep in mind that I have spent $32 or $37, I think it is, on drinks alone. So the coffees aren't really counted. And the malt and the Milo, they're just because they're going to last more than a week for our family. They'll last several months for each of those drinks. So, you know, definitely going to be worth it there. Okay, I'm going to bounce. I'm rambling. So have a good day, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Catches.